Okay guys, welcome back. Now, plugged in the USB, I'm on a Mac here by the way, so I plugged in the USB and the device uh, comes on and it defaults to show this P1 which is preset 1 on the on the LED display. I've wired it up with some flashy gold plated oxygen free RCAs to the, to the line outs. Okay, and here I'm going to issue a warning. This is what happened. I simply plugged the device in and it was instantly recognised by the map. There's no need to install drivers because of the core audio. And basically all I had to do then was go to Logic Pro Preferences Audio. There's the device. It appears as this USB audio codec. And I selected that and then you can get the buffers right down to the lowest they go. 32 samples, the same as the Apogee Duet or any other sort of Pro or Semi-Pro device. So you get nice low latency and everything like that. And you're ready to go. Okay, and here comes the warning. Basically, I had the active monitors here set up with the duet before. They were set to a volume level so that when I turn the duet up full, the mix arriving at the, at the uh, monitors from the duet and from Logic was nice and loud, but in no way overloading the speakers. Okay, just nice and warm and loud, nice and hot, but not overloading or distorting. Then I plug this in. Now the Apogee Duet is, is minus 10 dB line out, okay? Consumer line out level, unbalanced. This device, this uh, UMA25S, there's nothing saying what its line level output is. There's nothing in the specs. I don't know what, know what line level out this thing's giving, but basically I plugged it in and I hit play on Logic and the sound level that came out of my KRKs was so loud, I almost had a heart attack. I mean, the, the speakers just went Rah! at me like that. With this horrible, like a hundred times louder than coming from the duet. Just sort of massively loud, distorted sound. I mean, it was like one of those cartoons, man. There was just my trainers on the floor with smoke coming out and I'd gone through the ceiling, you know what I mean? I mean, this sound came barking out of the speakers and I kind of dived in slow motion for the for the space bar on the Mac keyboard like and turn and hit stop and just but just in the one and a half seconds that that sound was coming out of the speakers I almost had a heart attack I swear to god I mean the drivers almost leapt out of the cabinets and ran out the door I don't, I don't know what level this thing's putting out but but this is the issue this is the warning for god's sake do it this way assign your driver in your Mac or PC and if the PC you've got installed drives and everything right Assign your driver in your sequencer. Go to your amp and speakers or your active monitors and turn them down low. Okay, now, on the back of the UMA 25S, there's this mix control with this direct monitor switch. If this direct monitor switch is not in, this mix control, in other words, the final volume coming from your host sequencer into this device, in other words, a volume control for the line out and the headphone out, there isn't any. You know, whatever level is leaving your sequencer arrives at this and feeds straight out, all right? So switch that in, even if you're not using a mic at this point, and direct monitoring's not anything to do with the equation, right? This is also activating this volume control. Turn it right down, then hit play on your Mac, raise the volume until it's up full. Then go to your active monitors or your amp and speakers and turn them up to the loudest you want them. Okay. And that's it. Now it's set, and no matter how loud this is, you've got a, you, you're not overloading your speakers. Even if this active monitor, this um, monitoring switch is out, and there is no volume control, that's your maximum level, and you will not overload your speakers. But for God's sake, turn everything down on your amp and speakers first before you 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 balance the system. All right? Okay, that's one thing. This leads to another issue. Now, it doesn't matter whether you use this headset that's included. I'm going to use it for the purpose of just demonstrating this because it's convenient. Um, or you could be using a, a high quality pair of studio headphones with a little adapter to, to, to go into this mini jack headphone output and a, a high quality studio mic going into a dedicated standalone preamp and then a line output coming from that going to a mini jack connector to connect into the line input in this so you're getting a high quality mic feed going through the line input. But for this case, for this example, I'm just to show you what the problem is, I'm just going to use this headset because it's got a mic and a headphones and everything together. Right now, so I plug in the mic 
and the headphones on the back. Okay, here we go. Bones, mic. Now, watch this. Playback. Turn it up. Okay, now. I want to get playback on my headphones, but not on the speakers. So I turn the volume control right down. Hit play. I'll turn the mic level down as well, because the mics are coming through at the moment. Right, here we go. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's still sound coming out of the speakers. Look. Can you hear it? Well, there is. Even though the mic level is turned right down and the direct monitoring is turned off and everything. All right? But I'm still getting a level coming through. So turning everything down is not cutting the sound out from getting through. Okay? Second thing is, I'm now going to hit... Okay. Right, I can't turn the volume down without, now I've pressed the direct monitoring switch in and I've turned the volume down on the volume control. So now I've turned the volume down going to the speakers. There's now no sound coming to the headphones. Okay, because this mix control controls the level going to the headphones and to the line output to the speakers, right? It doesn't matter what level the actual, because you've got a a headphone out, uh, output level as well, but that ultimately is controlled by this mix output, which then feeds into that. So you can't have any level arriving at your headphones without it also leaving the line out. <sighs> so there's another issue. In other words, you can't plug in a mic and headphones to this, turn down your speakers and still hear things on your headphones. It, it, you just can't do it. You've either got to have speakers and headphones on or nothing at all. Okay, now in terms of this mic, just to quickly show you, I might have a few minutes left on this. Hang on. Yeah, I've just got time to show you this. The headphones, you know, this, this free included headset, really, it's, it's, it's for podcasting or something, right? You, you're not going to use this seriously to make any recordings. But for podcasting and stuff and internet phoning and everything, great. Headphones at a push could be used for doing a bit of budget studio work, but you would want to get a proper decent one. So think of them as a free podcasting and, and Skype call set or something, right? Or for gaming or something, right? Now, this is you get a lot of um, plosives on the mic and breath sound and things, right? So what I'll do is I'll just record a bit of a bit of um, turn up the mic. One, two, two, one, two, 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 one. I'll just record a bit on Logic. Problem is though, one, two, two. It's still coming out the speakers. Turn the speakers right down. It's still coming out. See what I mean? There's no way of stopping it. So I'll record. There we go. Just make sure that switches. Right, here we go, I'm going to hit record. I'm recording a little bit on the mic. Da -da 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 -da. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How are you today, Mrs. Smith? Well, I'm all right. I've just been down to buy myself a new pair of chocks for me sock with camel. Really, Mrs. Smith? Yeah, it kept rolling down the lawn. Right, there we go, that's it recorded. And this is the quality on playback. It's pretty rough. Like I say, it's, it's, it's all right for like Skyping or something, right? Turn it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How are you today, Mrs. Smith? Well, I'm all right. I've just been down to buy myself. Do you know what I mean? It's there's just ten plosives all over it, right? So, nice little freebie for Skyping and podcasting and that, but otherwise forget it. But that's not really the issue. The issue is... We're not evaluating the value of these included head of this included headset. The problem is you can't do anything in terms of turning things off for monitoring uh, when you don't want the speakers. You've got to manually, physically turn your amp and speakers off, or reach over and turn your active monitors off. Otherwise, the sound will always come out of your speakers, even when you really only want to be monitoring on headphones. Okay, so that's the first thing I've discovered. But otherwise, for playback, it, it makes quite a Quite a, given that it's a budget audio and out built in as part of this whole package, the actual monitoring playback is is perfectly acceptable. Okay, so let's move on and look at a few of the other things. All right.